I was gonna do this intro, but then Rose walked in and there- Is take God do you? Thank you! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. In the never-ending saga of me trying things I've seen on the internet, today we're wasting money Spice on what I'm up. about to buy. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be trying some DIY pranks that I've seen on YouTube, Instagram, etc., and seeing if they actually work. Now, these are not my pranks. These are not pranks I created. So I can kind of get out of this risk-free if these don't work out, which is really great. These are pranks from various YouTube channels like Trim Trum. There's one that I've never seen before called like One Two Three Go. Some from Five Minute Crafts, etc. Just so those various like DIY prank. You can come in and hang out again. So those are what I'm going to be testing today. But yep. first we need to go and gather all of these things. It's just a heads up PSA guys. I don't think I'm actually gonna vlog in Walmart cause this Walmart is very weird about filming in Walmart. They're really weird about it. I vlogged in Target the other day and like no one cared. Get with it Walmart. We're all vloggers now. So I will see you guys later. Um, I'm just gonna go get everything on this list. Okay bye. And we're back. Let's just get started with this first DIY prank. I do think that one of these has some potential. Again, these DIY pranks that these companies are putting out there in the world seem somewhat clever sometimes, but only in controlled settings. This first one involves lotion and mayonnaise. I feel like you pretty much get the picture here. You take this out of this bottle, put this in it, and I guess offer lotion to somebody? That's the part that I'm like, okay, I feel like I can do that naturally, but while filming it? That's the hard part about these pranks. We'll see what happens. Okay, let's begin. I'm not gonna waste any of this lotion. So I'm going to open this, and I'm just gonna put this in the bowl temporarily. I'm just gonna kind of... Oh my gosh, it looks like Froyo or something. I just took out a good, good bit and I'm just gonna fill the rest of this with mayonnaise. Ew, I hate mayonnaise. Ew, this is just so much ew. Just gonna squeeze this down in there. This is actually working really well. I mean, it takes some like maneuvering. <laughs> oh no. Anytime I wear overalls, I just get really messy. Now that it is all set, I am just going to text a group of people who frequent this office a lot and often ask me for lotion. Woods asks me for lotion a lot. I just sent a photo in a group text of the lotion and said, hey guys, by the way, I finally got a big bottle of lotion that you're all welcome to use for your dry skin. So let us see if that lures anyone in. I will leave this on my desk and next time you see it, someone will be putting mayonnaise on their hands. This next DIY prank involves Coca-Cola and soy sauce. Now, this prank implies that you can open a Coca-Cola, remove some of it, drink it, pour it out, who cares, and then pour in soy sauce, because they do look very similar. My only hesitation with this is that whoever you give the Coke to, aren't they gonna be able to tell it's been opened? We'll see how this one goes. Okay, so let's just open. See, like that- <gasps> Why? <laughs> Why? 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 I gotta clean it up. I'll be back. And we're back. So in hindsight, the thing exploding, kind of beneficial, because it did remove a little bit. So guys, everything happens for a reason. Everything's gonna be okay. There's a little life lesson for you. Things may not go as planned, but they happen the way they're supposed to. Oh, that's soy sauce. So let's just... Oh no. It's making it so fizzy. There. You really can't tell the difference. Oh goodness. So I'm gonna clean up the top again. I think what I'm just gonna roll with is that I opened it, but then it kind of exploded on me. And so I don't really want it anymore. And I also have a Red Bull, so I don't know why it opened it. And I'm just gonna offer it to someone. Typically, Patrick, Catherine, and Woods come into the office like right around lunchtime. And I think that's when these pranks are gonna have their best play. This next prank is going to involve some cake decorating skills. We are going to be decorating and making a sponge cake, like an actual 
sponge cake. This one is the one that I feel like could work. The point of this is you just cover it in icing and ask someone if they want cake and then they take a bite of it and it's a sponge. The thing that I think is kind of good about this prank is that like it won't harm them. Like they're just gonna be biting into a sponge. Like they're not gonna be able to like tear it off and they're not gonna like keep chewing it or anything. This shape I feel like is pretty familiar for a sponge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it into a rectangle. So let's just cut shall we? Man, these scissors are everything. Okay, now it's a little more straight. Okay, there we go. Now, should I put this hard part on the top or the bottom? They're probably the top, right? I don't know. I don't feel like it really matters. This is so weird. I'm really interested to see if any of these work. I feel like this icing, it's like not gonna look that pretty. Hopefully that's fine. This is just the base layer. This icing smells delicious. The goal is to make the icing thick enough to where like you can't see the blue. Cause I feel like that would be a little off putting. But like, what am I gonna say to people? How am I gonna convince them that like this isn't anything weird? Like, hey, I'm making tiny cake. I feel like I need to cover the bottom. Should I like cover the bottom in like chocolate melts so it hardens? Hmm, maybe I do cover it in chocolate. I am back with some melted chocolate and I'm hoping to do this before they walk over here for lunchtime so they don't see it. <laughs> Let's just like drizzle it. I know the easiest method would probably be to dip it in, but I don't wanna like pick up the icing. Or should I just like dump it over it? Let's try that, see how that works. Oh, whoa. This is gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna let that set and we'll do this one after lunch. Everyone is coming over now. <laughs> okay, I see everybody walking over. Let's see what happens. Hello. It says, let's go to lunch. Okay, dang. <laughs> Why do you have so see, many cokes? I, because Sam, you I, have a problem. Oh, why? You, does Sam not drink Coke every Don't single drag day? Me into this story. I knew everyone <laughs> would love the lotion. Would well, love the lotion. Well, <laughs> really rubbing that. It's like just nice to feel my hands later. not completely <laughs> shipping away. <laughs> I'm just surprised because that was mayonnaise. <laughs> no. No, straight up? The entire, like, right here is mayonnaise. Oh, well, it's okay, because it goes to the bottom. Get a little, get a little, get a little bit no, more. No, I'm good. I had enough lotion. I didn't have any mayonnaise, though. <laughs> yeah, well, Sam, if you put it on the top... No, I know. I stabbed it in the straw, though. I'm Why? just trying all of those, like, DIY pranks from, like, 5-Minute Crafts, Trim Trim, etc. You know that I hate mayonnaise. What if I actually put mayonnaise on my hands? That's not even a good I prank. I would put it on your I know. Face. I hate you. You look like disappointed parents. <laughs> oh, I'm a disappointed Individual. person. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I am back from lunch and yes, I'm aware that I'm wearing an eye mask right now. It is just because I'm about to decorate the cake a little bit. So y'all aren't gonna be looking at my face. I'm a little disappointed in the lotion one. I really thought it was gonna like come out more. I really just think Woods did not notice it. Right now, this has set, so I'm gonna flip it over, finish icing, and then try and give it to see. Okay, so it flipped perfectly, so now it's just time to finish decorating this. There's still some little blue sections on the side, so I'm just gonna decorate the heck out of this thing and hope that that covers all of those. Oh. Okay, glad we did a test. Do I have to shake it before using it or what? <laughs> it looks so cute. I have to push down so hard, jeez. I feel like I should write a message. You're cool. There we go. So CJ, are you a vegan or a vegetarian? I'm a vegetarian. See guys, I didn't poison him with the egg popsicle. Oh, On... they were mad. Yeah. We that. just yeah. watched that. A lot of people were like, wait, isn't CJ vegan? So even though I still kind of felt Torture bad, all the time. Um, I made you a little cake. See guys, I do nice things every once in a while. I decorated it too. It's a vanilla sponge cake with a chocolate bottom <laughs> and it has oh. a really cool little message for you on it too. You're cool. You're welcome. Aww. Not a mean person. Wow. Oh, so he's like... also allergic so, to frosting. So. Yeah, I know. Watch him be like <laughs> allergic to frosting <laughs> too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Got him! Oh. Ew, Sam. It's a sponge cake, I told you. Sam. Not like a single part of me thought that this was a prank. I thought for sure you're just being nice to me. Yeah. And I was like, dang, like Sam has just done it again. She's out Sammed herself and full reaction. Here we are. I'm very upset. I felt bad, but like I had to give a backstory to it. That was a great backstory. Okay, Sam, you we got have me. a lot to do. Yeah, so. Okay, have okay nice it's fine. I have Nicole here. Nicole, say hi. Hi, introduce yourself. Who Hello, are you? Hello, I'm Nicole. 
Okay, I'm cool. Kidding. Yeah, great. So I have challenged Nicole to a little Coca-Cola drink off. Now Nicole has never shied away from a challenge. Nope, never. She is very competitive. This is why we love her. These Coca-Colas, first to finish wins. I did open them already because I've opened two from this pack and they exploded. That's why I heard you scream in here earlier. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. Okay, ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Three, two, one. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> is that soy sauce? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew I'm it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you took advantage of my competitiveness. I know I did. For like a second, I was like, it tastes funny, but no, this is a competition. I'm gonna keep going. I gotta keep going. <laughs> so I took like two more big gulps. I was like, no way, she's lying. I should have smelled it first. Yeah, no. This is real. That was, I was so scared that you were gonna smell it. One can say I'm naive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. But in my defense, Sam's a really good actress. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So guys, there you have it. I tested the pranks I saw on the internet and not all of them failed me. Guys, go ahead and comment down below any other trends that you see on the internet that you want me to attempt, bring to attention. You just want to see me try. Comment those down below with hashtag try this. Sure. Comment that and I will take a peek and look through all of those. I will see you guys next time.